cat. I'm more dogs, but you're definitely a cat lady, oh, aren't you? I won't say a mad cat lady. You're, yes, but you're too <laughs> polite for that, aren't you? <laughs> um, right, let's have a little look at some of the photos, the weather photos that have been coming in. We've had a day of sunshine and showers. The first picture um, at Middlestown um, this afternoon. The second picture, another rainbow near Barnsley. And the third picture, uh, I couldn't believe it when I saw these, uh, continuing wow. in Paul's theme, challenging Paul's pansies, I give you daffodils. I've not seen any of you. I think they're even better. Mm, thank you very and much. Paul's pansies. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep your pictures coming in to the BBC Weather Watchers page or you can tweet me at Keely Donovan or I'm on Instagram, Keely.Donovan. So we have got some cold weather on the horizon to start the next week. Uh, some cold and frosty weather, potentially some snow in the forecast as well, but a lot of uncertainty uh, in that at the moment. What we are certain about is the next 24 hours is going to be wet and windy. Overnight tonight, that rain becoming heavy and persistent. The heaviest of the rain is expected over the hills, and we do have a Met Office warning out uh, for the Pennines and the Dales. And then that area of low pressure is going to move away eastwards into Sunday. Sunday uh, showers easing away south. It's probably turned out to be quite a nice day. And then cold northerlies for the beginning of next week, at least the first half of next week, I think. So overnight frosts, the risk of icy stretches, and a lot of uncertainty, but the potential for some snow in the forecast as well. So it's certainly worth keeping tuned as we head through the next few days. We've had a fair few showers. It might be a little bit wintry out there at the moment. They are tending to ease away um, through this evening. There's one or two still remaining out there, but tending to ease away through this evening. And actually, it should be largely fine for the first few hours of this evening. Cloud is going to spread from the southwest, though, and through the second half of the night, outbreaks of rain will spread from the southwest, becoming persistent and heavy in places, particularly for hillier parts, and of course, falling on already very soggy ground. Temperatures falling back to around five or six degrees. It will remain blustery overnight as well. A quick look at those high water times then, nearly quarter past nine in Bridlington and just gone nine in Filey. So a wet start to the weekend, windy too. That main body of rain is slowly going to ease away through the morning, leaving behind a lot of cloud, some patchy rain at times, but brightening up nicely for the afternoon. There will be a few showers still, particularly for the hills, the odd uh, wintry flake perhaps, but generally and particularly in the east, a lot of dry and bright weather, but it will be breezy. And temperatures will cool off, I think, as we head through the afternoon at five or six degrees by the end of the afternoon. It is going to get windier still, particularly across parts of North Yorkshire as we head through Saturday evening into Sunday, at the risk of gales or severe gales for parts of North Yorkshire. And then on Sunday, uh, a few showers around to start the day. They'll tend to ease away southwards as we head through the course of the day. And then it becomes cold as we move into Monday and actually for the first half of next week uh, with overnight uh, frost and ice and as I say the risk of some snow, more on that in the next few days oh, Amanda. Oh you said the snow word. Maybe snow. Maybe, watch this space. <laughs>